Hey guys, Boss of Toys here. Today we'll be reviewing set 76170 Iron Man vs. Thanos. It retailed for about $20 at Dollar General and is a 4 plus set with 103 pieces. So it's on the more pricey side with, uh, I think it actually has the least amount of pieces out of all my sets. It comes with two minifigs, that being minifig Thanos and Iron Man. This isn't the Iron Man that comes with the set because it has the clear head. I just have that Iron Man in the box, and I don't feel like digging him out. Either way, it's the same Iron Man fig you'll get and eat both sets. It's also the same you get with the Heli Carrier, Iron Man Hulkbuster, Iron Man Mech, and plenty of other sets. They have crammed this specific suit of armor down our throats so much that, quite frankly, I don't care. Um, you have this imprisonment, half imprisonment of the Infinity Gauntlet, which Kind of works, not really. You have Thanos' turret? I don't... I don't know why. It has two printed pieces, and like always, printed pieces are nice. And specifically, the design on these is really good. I'll probably use that. Now, you, there, people who've had this spring-loaded shooter before know that... It shoots. And the projectile's giant. No chance of you ever losing this, and if you do, you're a moron. And then we have this discount A-Wing. And it has these uh, kinetic potential energy disc launchers. Oh, I had to reload that. And it's... Objectively the worst that I've owned. And that's saying something. I have four of the AATs which are so inaccurate. Personally, the inaccuracies don't mind me, but bother me. But then again, it bothers other people. Now, this is probably the second worst set right under the, right above the Resistance AX Wing. That thing is garbage. So, this has a printed uh, front piece, which is actually really nice. As always, printed pieces are always appreciated. And lots of trans blue, and as well as red and gold. And the bottom is just one big plate piece thing. And uh, I like it. For what it is. It's pretty garbage, though. Um, it does bear a lot of semblance to a X wing I mean, not an X-Wing, an A-Wing, or a... I want to say uh, Hoth Snowspeeder. And it's really, really rough. This, there's no gradual. I know they have giant pieces that can go here. So I don't understand why they didn't use those. Probably to include this gimmick, which nobody asked for. I'm actually some, uh, surprised that they didn't use stud shooters, but then again, they probably don't want kids choking. Which explains why there was a lack of stud shooters or spring-loaded shooters on the Resistance X-Wing. Either that or that set was just garbage. Either way, there's no stud shooters, no spring-loaded shooters, just these. You have these, which you can position to your liking, and that doesn't seem too bad. And it has... Decently good pieces. The trans blue uh, windshield and the two p translucent glass pieces on the side. As well as all the trans blue pieces on there. Those are really great pieces and it's pieces I don't really have enough of. The golden disc, I don't care about. This, these two are always appreciated pieces as well as the golden grill pieces. However... Screw this cannon. It is just bad on multiple levels. It is just just so bad. I've thought about disassembling it, and I probably should, considering all the stuff I have. But it's just... Ugh. Honestly, the best build out of all of this is this. This right here. This is the best build. That's saying something. <laughs> Um, I leave it on display, it has nice trans blue pieces, nice gold pieces, really always like gold pieces, and then that's all it really has going for it, it spins, 
that does something for you. Now, the size of minifigs, this one we've had so many of I've lost track of. Um, you look up Iron Man, and this is probably one of the first minifigs you'll see. Now, this Thanos, uh, from my knowledge, just only comes in one other set, and that's the Thanos mech set. I don't have the set number. And I don't really want it, because that's not the Captain America mech, and that's the last mech I'll probably get for that line. But it's just, this helmet just looks weird. It doesn't stay on too well. And his face. Focus camera. His face looks like the girl from uh, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory who turned into a man and aged 50 years while getting jacked. That's what this looks like to me. I don't like it. I don't care for it. I think they should have went big fig. But then again, how would he sit and man the turret? I'm going to go grab this. How would he man the turret? Iron Man also can sit in his thing. And there's just a Star Wars-esque control panel in there. And it's also printed, so that's nice. Um, the printed pieces are always nice. I like printed pieces. I think the majority of LEGO collectors do. But... No. I'm actually curious. Why can these four-year-old sets have printed pieces, all completely printed pieces, no stickers on these whatsoever, and this 18-plus set that costs $65 has two stickers that are actually three stickers that are incredibly hard to line up? Can somebody answer me on that specific detail, please? It's driving me nuts. This has stickers, this doesn't have stickers, this does not have a single sticker, that is full of stickers, that is an 18 plus set, why does it have stickers? But on the topic of this set, it's garbage, don't buy it, unless you're four, in which case, it's still garbage, goodbye.